Oh, Pharaoh is auto hosting. Well, thank you, Pharaoh. <laughs> I'm sure he's still at work right now. Scam likely. Why y'all scammers call, calling my phone? Stop calling me. <laughs> okay, well, I I waited a few minutes. Um, hopefully, Sign will finish up her match and uh, won't miss anything. But I can't wait too long because I really do have to uh, do this before Mom gets back. Hello, Coco. How are you, darling? I like how you put emphasis on the eyes. <laughs> it's so lovely to see you. Okay, now I'm seeing the height is an issue. Ugh, how much... How much issue are you going to give me, chat? Why you do this? Why you do this, chat? Do not do this to me. Okay, you know what? I will do battle with you another day. <laughs> I feel like every single time we do battle. Me in, me in this chat box. Like, maybe I should have asked Inferno to make it a little bigger? I don't know. Or maybe I should do away with it? I, I, I don't think it's completely necessary to have chat there. Uh, if the doorbell rings, I might, uh, I might have, uh, well, I'll have to step away. Because my mom's expecting a package and I'm the only one home to get it, so. <laughs> okay, you know what, chat? You and I, we are enemies. Uh, you're doing okay, Coco? That's good, that's good. I'm happy to hear that. Uh, you have a height issue? Justin, I have a height issue because I'm so short. <laughs> I don't like being short. Makes me sad. <laughs> okay. Your average height. You're just kidding. Oh, okay. Well, lucky you, okay? <laughs> Must be so nice to be average height. Compared to someone who is super short. Okay, I'm going to make my screen bigger, so I'm going to have to adjust that again. Ugh. Game. Game, while you do this. Why can't you behave? Okay, there we go. Hopefully, everything's adjusted enough. All right, let's get started. I can't. I can't wait anymore. Um, your average height for around here. Oh, okay. Well, let's resume. We are officially at 10 p.m. now. I I wish I could remember where we left off. <laughs> Twitch crashed on you for a moment. Well, you didn't miss anything, luckily. But hopefully, Twitch will behave. And hopefully, Kiba, Kiba, please, you behave. It's not time for your dinner. You gotta wait. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Look at my... Wonder who's in the pub. Okay, that's where we left off. Who's in the pub now? I really don't think it's my place, darling. It is your place, here. <sighs> I just don't want to tell tales. Tell him about the outside. You know what happens. Hmm. <gasps> ah, so it's going to be that kind of evening, is it? Right? Only if you deal. Problems? Hello, Inspector. What was that? 
What was that? Did she? She looked so serious, but that was uh, an interesting. I couldn't hear him that well. They were they were both like mumbling. Um, I hope the volume's okay for you guys. Um, but all I heard for sure was uh, something about if you uh, it's gonna be that kind of night, and he and she said if you play your cards right or something like that. But the whole slapping thing, like. <laughs> Like, she didn't do it in a way, like, I, at first I thought she was actually angry with him, but then they seemed flirty, so I don't know. That was weird. That was weird. Very strange relationship these two have, yeah. Uh, who do I need to speak to? What did Ryan take from that cupboard? So I could go to the restaurant then? Oh, we can actually examine. <gasps> oh, it's just open. Whoa, 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 whoa. Milligram. Well, isn't liquid. that interesting? Cute. Something, it was prescribed to Rebecca? Okay. Prescription for Rebecca. Okay, let's talk to Rebecca about that then. What's this prescription? More questions, if you don't mind. Jenks has an ask. Yeah, what's this? The cupboard downstairs. There's a lot of unopened stuff in it. Is there? Prescriptions. Made out to you. Oh. They're just spare painkillers. The chemist always gives us too many. He's a friend of the family. Hmm. Chemist gives them too many friends. Rebecca's prescription painkillers. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Where is it? Ah. Uh, no, where is it? Doesn't buy from. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah. Uh, she says she. Yes! Objection! Ah, oh, the subtitles are gone again. Oh, okay, okay. Hold on. Let me do that first then. I'll be back. Thank you. Probably. I'll catch later. you in your objection in a minute. Why is it whenever I start this game up again, the subtitles are gone? Uh, how do I? Subtitles off. Why are you always gone, subtitles? Why do you do this to me? <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's talk to her again. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> uh, a few more questions, if you don't mind. Objection time. You say you don't take any drugs or medicines. But you have a prescription. Aha! Uh -huh. So, you don't take any medicines except for prescription painkillers. Well, they're not actually for me, they're Ryan's. Um, for some reason, the chemist always makes them out to my name. Mm -hmm. He's a, an old gentleman. Does Ryan need prescription painkillers? Yes, he's got arthritis. Really? He's young to suffer from that, isn't he? It happens. He doesn't have it badly, but he does need medication from time to time. What medicine is it? I couldn't tell you, to be honest. Ryan will know. So Ryan's the one using the prescriptions. Think I might have a word with him, work out exactly what this medicine is. Interesting. First of all, I resent that there's a cane there next to arthritis. Because I actually got diagnosed with psoriatic arthritis a few years ago. It's something I don't really like to talk about because, okay, I don't know, I get kind of embarrassed about it. But there's nothing you can do. It's an autoimmune disease, kind of like the arthritis that you're thinking of. But most arthritis is actually just from plain old wear and tear. That's what you get with age. But there are types like rheumatoid and psoriatic which are inherited in your blood. And you can get them early on like I have. So I just basically have aches and pains all the time. Um, I had to take medicine for it. I actually have to inject myself like every few weeks. It sucks. But anyway, uh, so yeah, Ryan is not alone. <laughs> it does happen. And people don't even know that. So you just gotta, if you feel aches and pains when you shouldn't, you should look into that. Um, let me see. I think we're done because we showed her everything else. Uh, but let's uh, go. That's all for the moment. Let's Thank go you. talk to Ryan then. 
want to see the guy who plays Jenks in more things because he's funny. I agree. He's awesome. I like his acting. Hello, Scoop. How are you today? Welcome to the stream. Okay, let's go see. Let's see. Where would Ryan be? Time to visit the lodge again. Okay. So we'll go, uh... Well, we'll go sh show this to the couple first before we go confront Ryan. Oh! What was that? He just dropped a whole bunch of stuff. What a litter bug. Was that his wallet? That was weird. He just dropped Be everything. Careless, Simon. Probably nothing important, but at this stage, I need all the clues I can get. It's 10 p.m. yet it's still light out there. Huh. Must be summer? I don't I don't remember. What's that? What is that? Interesting. Hold on, let me see what we just got. A key ring. What does that say? St. Bernard de Menthon? Oh, oh, St. Bernard. So he has a dog. He's some kind of saint with a dog. I wonder what that means. Um, then we have this business card. As Aztec? Broadway Industrial Estate Dean Hayfield Managing Director Interesting. Business card was dropped by Simon on the way into his house. Alright. Uh, he was taking a page from my book and throwing away a bad graded test. Yeah, right, Justin. Congrats! You double pipped! I want to double pip too later. <laughs> Why would he drop his wallet? He was holding his wallet, but he, he dropped stuff that was in it. It was just really careless. Um, all you missed sign was that we caught Rebecca in a lie right away. That she, uh, she had prescriptions, even though she said she didn't take them, um, for painkillers. But they're actually for Ryan because he has arthritis. And then, oh, you also missed... It was a weird interaction between her and her husband at the pub that he slapped... She slapped him in the face and he was like, ooh, kinky, kind of. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that's about it. And right now, Simon just dropped some stuff, so we're going to go ask him about that. Okay, questions, if that's Simon, okay. let's ask you about the stuff you dropped and about Ryan's arthritis. What do you know about Ryan's arthritis? Ryan? He's got arthritis? Apparently. Oh, I didn't know. I hadn't noticed he had any problems. Well, it's it's not a very noticeable thing unless you're, like, deformed from it. I, uh, think you dropped this outside. Someone you know. Oh, this is just, this is just from some IT guy in there. Uh, I don't need it. Fair enough. I, uh, noticed some numbers on the back. Do you need these? I don't know. What is it? Uh, 1905? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's just that's just a, a pin or something. It's okay, I can remember it. So not an offshore savings account or anything? <laughs> no, no, it's... Uh, it, it's not important. Mmm. Mmm. Ryan... I mean, not Ryan. Uh, Simon. I'm surprised that you, uh... You're gonna let us keep that. Uh, okay, yes, you figured it out. I have uptime. That's correct. Okay, let's ask about this key ring. Is this yours? Yeah. That's for my keys. Where did you find that? Just outside. Right. Oh, it must have come off when uh, Nathan dropped my keys off. Uh, he was borrowing my car. That's very trusting. Yeah, I suppose it is. I, I am a bit too trusting, really. It's a new car as well. Okay, interesting. So he owns a new car. See, uh, the car and the bike thing, I knew it was going to come up at some point. Now I'm a little concerned that Simon did it. Uh, hmm, why would Simon have killed her? 
Owns your new car, often lends the car to friends. Okay, where where is it? One thing about the bicycle. Bike is the only way he can get to work, but he has a new car. I think we got a contradiction, yo. Objection. Aha. Uh -huh. So the bike's the only way you can get to work, yes? Yeah. What's wrong with the car? No, I can't drive the car yet, can I? I don't have my license. Right. I got a windfall from an insurance payout. Uh, just figured I'd buy something sensible with it straight away instead of wasting the money. What was the insurance payout? Uh, it was for a laptop. It got stolen down at Atlas. <gasps> an Atlas? Well, they didn't break in. They, I think they just walked in and took it. Mm. The laptop was in a storeroom, but I think the lock was broken, to be honest. Doesn't sound like they're taking their security very seriously. Uh, actually, it got a lot better after that. I think I'll check it anyway. Must have been a very nice laptop to be able to buy a car with the insurance. Mm -hmm. Or a very cheap car. Might have to have a talk with Ryan about his security measures. Mm. Find some interesting information. Interesting information. Oh, I'm getting excited. Had his laptop stolen from Atlas. Laptop stolen. Where else have we heard something? Vandalized car. Oh, so that's not his car. That was Ryan's car. That's right. I'm just going over the stuff. Oh, there's a mosquito in the room. I'm sorry. I hate those guys. Uh... So his laptop wasn't stolen from by Paul then. Ryan's guitar collection, bag used in mugging. Okay, there's so much information now. Uh, we'll see what I remember. Kate's driving license. Unmarked bicycle. Belongs to Simon's cousin. Hmm. No killer lobbies as usual. Here in my car, I feel safest of all in cars. Uh, I don't know that song. No survivors. Yeah, you know, Raptor, I go through that too. Whenever I want to play killer, I, had, I get no survivors in my lobby. It's, it's weird. Your laptop is kind of old, but if anyone tries to steal it, they learn how big of a mistake that is. Be back later on, if that's okay. All right, Emma, we got a lot of new stuff to show you, starting with Ryan, uh, I guess Ryan's arthritis, okay. Did you know about Ryan Round's arthritis? Arthritis? Uh, oh, I didn't think Ryan had arthritis. Oh, my phone was ringing. Well, I called her back, but uh, she might call back in a few minutes. I remember she told me her phone was dying. Hmm, that's not good. So if uh, I might get interrupted again, we'll see. Steve, will you stop? Stop. You missed Coco. Oh, okay. Uh, she didn't know about his arthritis. Okay, how about this? Have you seen this before? Um, nope. Sorry, never heard of him. Okay. Keyring. And what do you know about this? This is Simon's. I bought this for him when we were on holiday. Has he lost it? He dropped it. He can't keep anything. Bought the key ring for Simon. Okay. His laptop. Did you know about Simon's laptop being stolen? Yeah, because it had all my college work on it. Ooh. Which I hadn't backed up or saved. That's not good. Uh, not that it mattered much, but uh, I did buy a new one. And Simon uses it now. When I let him. So they share it? Bought a new laptop for them both. So, oh, okay. Huh. 
You're still on the... Oh, you're still suspicious of Rebecca. Okay. Uh, you had to turn Aries lights off because he was in pain? Oh, because he was a pain. Huh. Okay. I didn't know fish could act up like that. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Alright, so we got some new information. So let's see who I have to speak to. Pretty much everybody, <laughs> as usual. Uh, l we'll leave Ryan for last. Let's go uh, talk to James. I have a feeling he doesn't know much. Two more questions, please. Thank you. Uh, Ryan's arthritis. Oh, how about this? Recognize this at all? Yay, he fixed my laptop. Oh. Does he live locally? I think so. Okay, so he, something about the laptop again now. He was like, oh, just some IT guy, but he fixes laptops. And here a laptop was stolen. Hmm. Seen this before. Don't think so. Okay, what about... Oh, okay. Well, that's it then. Thank you. Probably be back later. But did you get caught on my wires again? What are you doing down there? <laughs> okay, well that was hmm, not much. I guess we could talk to the old man. Ask you a couple more things, please. We got plenty to ask about. Okay, starting with your son. When did Ryan begin to suffer from arthritis? Ryan doesn't suffer from arthritis. Really? The only thing that Ryan suffers from is a pathetic inability to deal with any kind of discomfort. He pulled his back sometime last year. Since then, he's going around telling everybody he suffers from arthritis. Huh. I thought he had medication for it. Oh, he only has medication because his GP, who is almost as dysfunctional as he is, keeps prescribing it for him. So you don't believe he really has arthritis? Not at all. Oh. Interesting. How did he pull his back, I wonder? And, uh... Hmm. The fact that, uh... Why would he would lie and say he has arthritis? Hmm. Is he a drug addict, then? Do you know who this is? Uh, Dean Hayfield, Aztec. Sorry, never heard of him. We have uh, some prisoner of a sort who does our IT. Prisoner? Large guy. No manners. Interesting. Uh, yes, general practitioner is correct. Or general physician. Same thing. Hmm. Seen this before anywhere? No. Okay. And what do you know about Simon's laptop being stolen from Atlas? Oh, no, I wasn't happy about it. What did you do about it? Ryan paid a con man to install a complicated CCTV system twice the price that it would probably have cost. Seemed to do the trick, though. We haven't had a theft since. Hmm. He keeps talking bad about, like, the, the IT guy looks like a prisoner, and now he's saying con man. Since he installed CCTV. No thefts have happened since. Is that true? Uh... Anything else theft-wise? I don't remember. I don't think so. It's so hard to remember. There's so much information now. Jeez. Thank you. Probably be back later. <sighs> okay, I hope I'm not missing any other contradictions, but it's getting it's getting tough with all the information that we've got. Yeah, London has a lot of CCTV. Let's see, we spoke to Rebecca, we spoke to them. Uh, where is that woman? Oh, that 
woman's house. I guess we can't just go in. W wasn't she over here? No, we can't go see her. Okay, that weird woman we found last time. I forgot her name. Uh, okay, we'll go back to Atlas then. Uh, wait, we haven't asked Rebecca about something? Is that a pin number on that business card? Wait, let's go back to Rebecca before we talk to Ryan then. Oh, because we got new information from Simon, that's right. Uh, sorry, gotta keep bugging you, lady. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Uh, the only thing was the stuff for Simon, okay. Have you seen this before? No. Okay, is that her name, Lisa, from last time? Do you know anything about this? You have a good memory. No, sorry. I, I don't remember. Okay, we... That's we, all for the moment. That's Thank so you. annoying. I had to come all the way to see Rebecca just to hear... Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> but, all right. Uh, let's, now, now we can go talk to Ryan. The man of the hour. All roads lead back to Ryan. Ask about a few more things, please. And he's probably still there sipping his alcohol, which you're not supposed to do if you're on medication. <laughs> uh, let's start with prescriptions. Do you know what the medicine in the cupboard at the pub is for? You'd better ask Rebecca about that. I'm not exactly sure what's in there. Liar. She tends to keep her wares under lock and key. Do you know, our wedding night was quite a surprise. What? <laughs> What? You, you pervert! Uh, their wedding night was, uh, censored? Eh, eh? <laughs> okay, uh, anyway, arthritis? Tell me about your arthritis. Oh, you found out about that. <laughs> well, yes, I'm old before my time. <laughs> That's very unlucky to have it so young. Mm -hmm. Well, I take a lot from life, Inspector, and sometimes life likes to give you a little bit back. I mean, it's not too bad, it's not too debilitating. It's mainly uh, some in my right hand, some in my left hand. It's not particularly a problem. Uh, makes it difficult to hold small things there. What do you take for it? I uh, get a prescription painkiller. How often do you need that? Not often, as and when, as and when. I keep some here, I keep some at home. It's not a problem. Okay, in his hands. Description, keep painkiller at home and at work. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I'm sorry you're getting lag, Poker Girl. I just checked. I'm not dropping any frames, so I guess it's just an internet or Twitch thing. Uh, how about this? Know anything about this? Uh, no, I don't. I'm sorry. We, we have our own IT chap. Lovely chap, in fact. Uh, fat and sweaty, though. It's, it's like a double act, doesn't it? <laughs> what? Ew. Ew. Hmm. I think you're so funny. Okay. Have you seen this before? No, sorry. Okay, what about the laptop? Were you at Atlas when Simon's laptop was stolen? Oh, I believe I was, yes. It was taken from the storeroom in the hallway. Was it ever recovered? No, we didn't catch anyone. We're quite exposed out here. Uh, somebody could just wandered along the lane, seen into the storeroom. It's not particularly secure. They could have been in and out within minutes. Uh, that's why we advise people to keep their valuables with them. You can't be too careful these days, Inspector. Okay, storm isn't particularly secure. <sighs> Photos. Okay, you're right. Car was vandalized by Lisa Blint. Lisa lives alone. Atlas. What else do we have about Atlas? Anything? Uh. There's so many random information, and what makes you wonder? I'm trying to see if 
there's anything useful here. you start Ugh, he's getting impatient because mom's not home uh, I don't know I don't know be back later on if that's okay is there something else do I have to report to the chief now okay yeah is that a pin number on that business card what do I do with the business card is there somewhere I put a pin number in? I don't remember. Recorder. Was there something here? No. Where would you go to put that number? Like a safe? We haven't really found a safe. Just give him a laundry basket. Well, I gotta feed him soon. That's partially maybe why he's acting up, but I think he's really upset because mom's not home. Uh, let's just go talk to the chief then. I can't think of where else pin number. Yes, Chief Freight, so... Got a bit more news. Apparently the prescription I found does belong to Ryan. It's for his arthritis. Arthritis? Ryan? Has he told you this, or...? He explained it, yeah. Huh? It seemed genuine enough. Although it's impossible to tell with Ryan. Well, keep at him. <clears throat> you need to find out who's taking it, when they're taking it, and where they're taking it. You're getting closer, though, Jax. Keep it up. Thanks, Chief. Bye-bye. That's it? Just about the... Prescription? Was that a pin number on that business card? But where... Where would I go with this pin? Go left down. I'm trying to think of where the pin number could be used. Uh, the garage, maybe? Mm. Let me see, can I actually use it? There's no use for the business card. I thought we could use the pin number. The only thing I can do, it doesn't even show or mention the number on the back of the card. Hmm. Where pin number? I'm just gonna have to wander a little and, until I come up with something. Rebecca's pub. What about behind here? Is there anything that a pin number could be used? Mm, pin number. Didn't we have... Oh, uh, we had a... Red torch? Oh, we can't use it again. Okay. I'm just trying to see where we could use the pin number. Kiba? You stop that. Ah. Uh, here that we need a pin number, right? No. Ugh. I don't know. Actually, you know, I'll, uh, I'll go feed my dog and maybe that'll stop him from crying. Uh, I'll be back and while I'm feeding him, I'll, I'll think of something. Hold on, guys.
Okay, I'm back. Uh, turns out he uh, <laughs> he had to use the bathroom. It's not it's not that he was hungry. So okay, uh, I was thinking. Thank you. I am back. And I have a feeling, like Justin said, that there is a contradiction. It's, it's not telling me that there is. But I'm pretty sure that there's a contradiction. I'm actually going to go back to Atlas. Um, I feel like we're not done with Ryan. I just don't know what the contradiction is. So I'm going to try a few things out. And see if I can stumble upon the contradiction. Couple more questions if that's okay. Okay, Ryan. Uh, thank you, thank you guys. Let's see... I'll take it from a storeroom. The thing that was bothering me was that they something something about the stolen laptop. The storeroom isn't particularly secure. That's why I was looking to see if there was anything else about Atlas and uh, about their facility. Like I don't remember. Ah, uh, hand symbol. Uh, doesn't allow drugs or alcohol onto. Wait. Oh! Doesn't keep any medicines on site. But he just said he keeps his prescription. Got it. Okay. So it wasn't what I thought, but, um... Good thing I found that. Where is it? He says he keeps that. Okay. Take that. Uh -huh. Objection. <laughs> so, you don't keep any medicines on site at Atlas. No. Except your prescription painkillers. Well... These are not available to the students. But they are kept on site. Mm. Yes, but they're locked away. They're kept in the storeroom. Nobody would have access. You're sure about that? What? Absolutely sure. Um, what are the painkillers, Ryan? <laughs> painkillers. No, just painkillers. Normal painkillers. What's the Paracetamol, name? Paracetamol, codeine, morphine. Well, all right, they're morphine tablets, <gasps> yes. That's oh, heavy duty. really? Oh, come on, Inspector. I know what you're thinking, but there's no way Kate could have had access to them. Because they're in the storeroom. Well, not just that. She wouldn't have even known about them. Or where they were. Sure about that? Yes. Mm. So it is morphine Ryan's taking. The pieces are starting to come together. Now I just have to work out how Kate got hold of it. If it was Ryan's morphine she got hold of, of course. Oh my god, Kiba. Okay, <laughs> I will be right back. I'm sorry. Ugh, this dog. What? I let you out. I let you out. What do you want? <laughs> Please. Get. What? What are you doing?
hopefully that's my last interruption. <laughs> uh, I didn't hear the doorbell ring, so I don't know if they're coming at all today or what. Um, okay, so he just straight up lied to me. I heard the contradiction this time. He said that... Uh, something that it was secure. Yeah, he said... The storeroom was secure, but here he said it wasn't secure, so... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There. Objection! Uh -huh. hmm? So the storeroom isn't particularly secure, yet you keep your morphine tablets in there. I thought you said no one could get access to the morphine, but they could quite easily, couldn't they, Ryan? I didn't mean that storeroom. I meant a different storeroom. I keep them in there. Mm. Okay. So where was it locked up? It's upstairs. It's got a combination <gasps> lock on it. Nobody oh. could have access to it except me and Dad. Simon. Nobody. Well, Simon. Mind, look at that if you don't mind. Don't mind at all. The code. A combination locked room, I see. Well, I might have a look around for that. Mm -hmm. See how secure and combination locked it really is. Ah, it's all coming together. Okay, want to place your bets now, guys, on who did it? <laughs> Okay, so Justin has been saying Rebecca. I'm leaning towards Simon now. Uh, Thank you. I'll probably be back later. Let's go explore this other place now. Go up the stairs. Here we go. Ooh, got some energy. All right, there it is, yo. There it is. Okay, so now, uh, ooh, no. Let's use the card there ah it worked ah, la, la. <laughs> yep <laughs> I feel like detective Conan welcome to the mirror room what the this exercise is all about identifying the difference between the image one presents to the world and one's real self which lies deep in our unconscious. What the frick? As you move through the network of mirrors, practice seeing yourself as a stranger. What? The more you separate from your persona, the more aware you will become of your true desires and ambitions. Chant with us. I am free from my image. What the hell? I am free from, from my past. I, I am free from, from myself. myself. Uh oh. I am free from my image. image. Careful. Jenks, don't get hypnotized. This exercise involves the use of liberation masks. You have now completed module one. Module two covers boundary testing, threshold testing, and extreme testing. Oh. Please read the notes carefully before attempting the module. Interesting. So, this is where he has his drugs or what? <laughs> uh, this is really interesting. I love the twist. This mirror room, combination locked room, contains a disorienting maze of mirrors. So we're gonna have to present that to a few people, I'm sure. Okay. I was worried he was gonna get brainwashed right there. <laughs> interesting. Okay, let's go ask Ryan about this, because this is weird. That room, bruh. What the heck? A few more questions, please. Let's ask about this. Can you tell me what you know about the mirror room upstairs? Oh, you found that then. Hmm. Well, it's very similar to the costumes, Inspector. It's designed to help the students look at themselves differently. And what do you do with the mirrors? You look at yourself, Inspector. You look at yourself until you start seeing yourself as, as others do. And you don't see yourself as, as you do anymore. It, it really, the idea is that you can see yourself eventually any way you wish. So why in a locked room? To make sure you're not distracted, that's all. How often is it used? Not often, a few times a month. Some students find it useful, some don't. Hmm. Mm, la, 
unlocked so students are distracted and use it free time so oh no poker girl you missed it it was epic man it was weird as heck i was worried that jenks was gonna get brainwashed yeah there was a, a creepy mirror room ah of all things for you to miss i'm so sorry hopefully you can rewatch the stream when i post it on youtube later oh man uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. Okay. Now we're gonna have to go show it to a bunch of people. Yeah, Simon, Emma, Rebecca, and Paul. That's fine. Let's go. Uh, let's go straight to Simon and Emma then. Especially since Simon had the code. Uh, ask you a couple more things, please. Simon, we need to talk, bro. Do you know about the mirror room at Atlas? Yeah. What's it used for? Well, it's mainly for the auto-hypnosis module. Mm. Uh, you go in and you stare into the mirror and you go into a trance. Then when you're ready, you come back out. So you just go in whenever you want to? Oh, no. Um, there's certain times when you're allowed in. And uh, only they know the combinations anyway, so you can't really get in. You don't know the combination? No. No, there is not a... Uh, wait, is there a manual save? There might be, Justin. There actually might be. Uh, no, I think so. Uh, you know, I was thinking I could finish this game tonight, but now I'm not so sure. I think it's... Uh, now I'm thinking about it, I think we have, to, we have until midnight? And this is the 10 o'clock hour, and it's taking longer than I thought. So I might go up until, like... I don't know. If it takes too long to get to midnight, I might not be able to finish. <laughs> okay, he says he didn't know the combination to the mirror room. Bruh. Of course he knows. Bruh. Objection. Uh -huh. So you didn't know the combination to the locked mirror room. Liar. No. Except you've written it down, haven't you? This is the combination to the mirror room, Simon, that you wrote. It isn't a pin. It's a combination. Yeah. You see, this sort of thing makes me suspicious, Simon. Ah, what yes. were you doing in there that you didn't want anyone, including me, to find out? Tell me. It's just part of the course, isn't it? I just, I just wanted to go in there when I was ready. On your own? You didn't give a number to anyone else? No. Simon, there was morphine kept in that room that might have played a part in Kate Vine's death. Hmm. Tell Did me. Kate have the number? Yes, okay. Uh, we both went in. Oh. Together? We were trying to outdo each other. We we both tried to morph in. <gasps> what do you mean trying to outdo each other? Um. It's part of the course. To see how far you can push yourself. To see... If you could do something you wouldn't normally do. Oh, no. When was this? A few months ago. How often did you try it? The oh, music. Only that once. I'd never do it again. How about Kate? I don't know. Sorry. 11. We got to 11. Okay, okay. Maybe we can finish this so after that's all. that's how Kate got the morphine. But what exactly does this testing involve? Could this have been what killed Kate? Just an hour left to solve this thing. Okay, we can do this. We can finish this tonight. Ooh, the music got really, really hyped. Really, really hyped. Oh, snap. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Ooh, I'm getting, like, chills. Like, ah, oh, we're so close. Maybe it isn't Simon, then, because it feels too obvious now. Hello, Smooth. Welcome to the stream, bruh. It's getting good, man. It's getting real trippy up in here. We, were, we found this creepy mirror room, and yeah, it's getting really interesting. I uh, haven't searched the woods for a while. Also, things you haven't asked Emma, Rebecca, and Paul about yet. Yeah, one hour left. So, uh, I, I can actually finish this tonight. I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's uh, go talk to Rebecca since we're outside the pub. If you don't mind. Twitch crashed again? I'm so sorry, Poke Girl. That really sucked. 
Uh, Atlas Mirror Room. Do you know anything about a locked room at Atlas with mirrors in it? Not off the top of my head, no. I think that's a question for Ryan. Interesting. Thank you so much, Smooth, for the subscription for two months in a row. Aw, you're so sweet. Thank you. I really appreciate the support, man. I always appreciate everything you do. Uh, you'll never find a black person searching the damn woods. <laughs> exactly, Smooth. And all these uh, scary movies and stuff, it's like... Only the black people and the Latinos would be like, Hell no, nah, I ain't doing that. <laughs> okay. It should take an hour to finish? Oh, okay. That's fine. That's good. That's good timing. I think I should be done. Thank you for the bits, Justin. I appreciate you so much. Man, poor polka girl. All she wants to do is watch this in peace. Thank you. Probably be back later. Doggy, I swear, I already took care of you. You stop that. Go lay down. Go lay down. I'm sorry your mother is not home. I already played with him. Everything. <laughs> uh, who? Oh, I haven't talked to Emma. Let me talk to Paul first. I hope you're doing well today, Smooth. A uh, few more questions, if you uh, don't mind. Yeah, it's just the mirror room. Okay. Can you tell me about the room with the mirrors at Atlas? The one with the combination lock? How did you get in there? I was given the code for the combination. By Ryan? Well, nobody else is uh, allowed to know the code, are they? And not in theory. Hmm. So how is the room used on the course, then? It's a meditation room where the students can reflect on themselves, literally. And what about the CD? Well, that helps, too. It's part of the program. So you send the students into the room, they put the CD on, they stare into the mirrors. And how long does this last for? Until the CD finishes or they fall asleep. What else would you like to know? So sassy. Here we can use for meditation CD use of course. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know how much you missed, Poker Girl. And yes, sign the whip uh, thing is there for a reason. Anyone can use it. Uh, like, I can do that. Oh, wait. <laughs> I put Whip Justin, but I didn't put his full name. But anyway, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the Whip should work. I think you have to put some... Wait, do I have to put a name? I don't remember. Wait, why isn't it working? Oh, maybe it's... I forgot. Is it with an S? Yes, it's with an S. That's right. There you go. Good job, sign. <laughs> I couldn't remember if it had an S or not. Wish you could sub and get in on some of that sub action. Ah, It's okay, Justin. No worries. Hello, Burning Speed. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you, ma'am. May I have another? Oh, <laughs> sign whipped smooth. Justin, I can't believe you. Okay, um... Nobody allowed to know the combination code. But then how did... How did he have it then? Uh, okay. uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Can't think of it. Uh, yes, Sign. I did check all of your Pokemon commands, which are awesome, by the way. Uh... That was a while ago. Can't wait until your next stream. That's going to be so cool. Who else do I got to talk to? Uh, just Emma. Okay. So let's go talk to Emma. And then we'll explore the woods again. Gosh, I'm getting hungry. I got to wait for mom to get home. A couple more questions, if that's okay. I want some tequila. <laughs> you are hardcore, man. You are so hardcore. I can't drink tequila. Ugh. Do you know about the mirror room at Atlas? Mirror room? Um, no, I, I heard about it, but I think it was only for the students that run the course. Something like that. Okay. That's it then? Be back later on, if that's okay. 
Yes, Poker Girl. Sign has a lot of awesome evolution commands. Uh, so let's go to the woods. We'll make our way into the woods. Into the woods. Let's go to the jetty. Nope. Uh, into the woods more. Into the clearing. Ah, here we go. <gasps> what? What? What is it? Just keep pushing. Keep pushing. <gasps> keep pushing. No. You can push it all the way in, Tom, if you want to. <gasps> Stop! Stop! <laughs> no. Excellent, Tom. Holy Excuse crap. me. Would someone care to tell me exactly what's going on here? No! Don't come any closer. That man needs a doctor. No, oh, he huh? doesn't. I don't need a doctor. I'm fine. Go away. Oh, my God. What is this? A test. Of what? What does it look like? It's a threshold test. A pain threshold test. I thought uh, you were supposed to be good at working things out. Inspector. Jenks. Mm. And so this would be for Atlas, would it? Kyle? You disappear now! It's not a good idea to talk to a police inspector like that. Do it to make you! It's okay, Tom. Mr. Jenks won't be bothering us anymore. Don't make any rush commitments. These guys. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe what I just saw. This is crazy. Ooh. Well, well. You really should take more care of your things, Ryan. Car is your keys, keys Kyle? No. Whose are they? Ooh. 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 So that's Ooh. threshold testing, is it? Sticking a skewer through your hand? I could just ask Ryan or Paul directly about this, but I think I'll bide my time. See what I can do with this key fob first. Ooh! Things are getting hot! Things are getting hot! Well! Well! Ooh! This is crazy. <laughs> uh, let's go to see the car. Those dudes freaking nuts. Alright, alright. Use it. There we go. He knew. Now why would that kid have those keys and that fob, as they call it? Ooh, what you gonna find? What you gonna find? I'm so sorry, you guys. I didn't know that was coming. Otherwise, I would have warned you. Ugh. Let's try not to think about it. Money. Bingo. Well, Ryan, what have you been up to? Be very interesting to see how he explains this one. Five hundred pounds. Huh. You mean the letter? <laughs> Nothing will compare to the letter. Um, that was interesting. Okay. Jeez, that was crazy. All right, let's, uh, wonder what James is up to. You also have things, Ryan and Paul. Okay, let's go see James first, then. Oh. Oh, <gasps> what? Who's that? What's that? Okay. Hmm. James, let's talk, bro. What was that all about? This is a little late for a delivery. A few more questions, please. Thank you. James definitely wouldn't know about the money. But what about what we just saw? We just saw... What do we do about what we just saw? Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Okay. Should we go investigate his, uh... Let's go see if he put whatever he just got elsewhere. Maybe we'll find it? In the greenhouse? Okay. 
there's another greenhouse or something, right? Yeah, go further up. Go into the larger greenhouse. Anything in here? Aha! Aha! What's this? What? So James is interested in poppy pods, is he? I think he's got some explaining to do. Oh, poppy? <gasps> That's used to make morphine, yo. Oh, my lord. Drug business is booming. He's going to be rich. <laughs> uh, wait, what did I miss? What we saw was a figment of our imagination. No, it wasn't smooth. No, it wasn't. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Ah, I want pizza now. <laughs> if you ask me, someone wanted something you can't normally order, maybe something illegal. Yep, you, we clearly saw that right now, Poker Girl. You were right. Poppies. Poppers. Have I burned the letter? <laughs> no. I'll, I'm still gonna play it, but uh, my nerves are on edge every time. Last last stream wasn't so bad. I, I'm i just nervous for next time. <laughs> Ask you a couple more things, please. Okay, we got some stuff to talk about, bruh. What can you tell me about several boxes of dried poppy pods in the greenhouse back there? Uh-huh. Feel free to take some if you want. What are they for, James? Decoration? Why? Liar! Decoration. <laughs> it's a big market for them among the over 70s. So what are you doing with them? Selling them. To grannies. Okay, James. Let's just cut to the chase. Are you extracting opium from them? Me? I can honestly say I've never done anything like that, Inspector. Sure about that. Scout's honor. Hmm, liar. And who was the guy delivering them? A friend. Someone gave them to him. He asked me if I wanted them. I said I'd have a look and see if I liked them. Liar. You just thought you'd have a look. No particular reason. I'm a plant scientist. That's what I do. Have you ever sold them to anyone else? I only got them a few minutes ago. In the past. You know Kate's body had opium in the blood when it was found? No, no I didn't. Hey, hey, that's nothing to do with me. I told Mmm, that face. Okay, used for decoration. You liar. Selling the pods to pensioners. Never extracted opium. Pods from a friend who didn't want them. Are you sure about that? Let me see anything else that we have on him, because I don't remember. It's been a while. It's been a while since we really talked to him. Uh, doesn't grow any other drugs. Sold to Liam. Does mint leaves on some cookery scrying what else we got? Anything else? Homebrew Sorry, I don't I don't think we have anything. <sighs> what are you selling, stranger? So Mr. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. I don't think we have anything. Thank you. Probably be back later. Let's go question some other people. Uh, okay. Uh, who else do I gotta talk to again? Ugh, I gotta talk to everybody. Dag damn it. <laughs> Sometimes I don't want to talk to everybody. I just want to get to the juicy stuff. Uh, but, but we gotta. Alright, old man. I do like just talking to you. a few more you. questions, if you don't mind. I do like talking to Paul, because he's, uh, he's an interesting old fellow. Oh, yes, this. Now, why do you think Ryan might want to give Kate a check for 500 pounds? I really no idea, no. Where did you find it? Just outside. You better ask him. You think Ryan was interested romantically in Kate? 
I know he has a weakness for blondes, but I didn't think it had gone so far as his offering them cash. But he slept with Emma, and Emma's not blonde. What do you know about poppy pods? Poppy pod? Ever come across anyone selling them, using them? No. Okay. Well, he is a senior, so we have Thank to you. ask. Probably be back later. Many kinds of poppy seeds, but those are papaver somniferum. So definitely has the sleep in it. Somniferum refers to sleep. And they call it poppy love. Instead of puppy love. Got help in little groceries? That's totally fine, Poke Girl. Hopefully you won't miss anything much. No question, Rebecca. Ask about a few more things, please. Alright. Uh, not even a check, huh? Okay, just this. What do you know about poppy pods? Go on. Ever come across anyone trying to sell them or anything like that? Maybe even in here? <sighs> not that I remember. Hmm. Doesn't know much about poppy pods, but doesn't she, uh... Something about... Uh... Used to grow salvia... Wait, 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 where is it? I thought she knew stuff about... Where is it? Where is it? Ah, oh, my property... I thought uh, she knew stuff about drugs. See, she knows this, but I guess... Is there no other leaves or something? No. Uh, I guess not. Hmm. All right. That's all for the moment. Thank you. I'll be back, Rebecca. I don't trust you. <laughs> uh. Okay. Let's go talk to you, Simon and Emma. Unless you're just dumb. You're not dumb. Uh, a couple Emma, more questions, if that's okay. Let's ask a... Wait, do we have anything else to check? No? Okay, just the poppy pods. Strange question. Have you ever known of anyone selling dried poppy pods? Poppy pods? Um... Don't think so. Isn't that opium? Kind of. It's okay. Okay, let's go visit Be back Simon. Later on, if that's okay. I feel like Simon would know. Uh, okay, just the poppy pods. Odd question, but have you ever seen anyone handling dried poppy pods? Poppy pods? As in, for opium? No. Though, James did have opium tea once, I think. Where did he get it from? Oh, I don't know. I didn't ask. James does his own thing. What does opium tea taste like? I don't know. I didn't try it. Really? I didn't want to risk it, did I? But I went to hospital once. Uh, I, I had codeine and I went into anaphylactic shock. The doctor said it was um, an opium derivative, apparently, so... What? It says he's allergic to opiates, but he took morphine. What the hell? And, uh... Uh, her tone gives you a vibe. Have you ever played Late Shift? Yes, I have, Justin. I streamed it a few months ago. It's on my YouTube channel. Um, I haven't, like, replayed it again. I, I think I got how many? One or two endings? But yes, objection time! Uh, you said you're allergic, but, uh, bruh, you took... Hold on. Took morphine. Aha. Uh -huh. Liar. You and Kate took morphine in the mirror room. That's what you said, isn't it? Yeah. But you're allergic to opiates, Simon. Opium. You didn't take the morphine at all, did you? Well, no. No, I didn't. Uh, Kate did, though. What? I thought you were trying to outdo each other. That was the point, wasn't it? 
We weren't trying to outdo each other as such. Mm. Yeah, in a fair way. Ryan heart. wanted me to test Kate. To see how far she would go to be prime candidate. What? What candidate? Prime candidate. It, it means the best person in the group, basically. What do you mean, test her? But you do it in pairs. One person's the tester, it's me. And the other person's the... Victim. Well, it's not like that. It's completely consensual. It's just boundary testing. What the heck? Ryan wanted me to test Kate. Because they thought she was the best student. Well, maybe. I... I don't know. I just did what I was told, okay? Except you decided to give her morphine. To break the law. Well, I can't change that now, can I? She didn't die of a morphine overdose, did she? She died because she drowned. But she drowned for reasons that aren't clear. Atlas seemed to have this all neatly worked out. If Simon's telling the truth, Atlas are lighting the fuse and then retiring to a safe distance, letting students test themselves and push themselves to their limits while avoiding all comeback. Is this what happened to Kate? So, now it's almost seeming like, let's say Kate technically killed herself, like, more like it was an accident. He and Emily was having an affair. Uh, no, I thought, I thought they were having an affair, but they're not. And, uh, Emma, his girlfriend, Emma, is having an affair with Ryan. Um, but so far, it doesn't look like Simon was cheating on her, so. Um, but yeah, let's say maybe, maybe Kate did die accidentally, but technically it would be the fault of, uh, Ryan and Paul and, you know, Atlas, that they pushed her to that. So I don't know if you could technically charge them with something, accessories maybe. Um, it would probably be a misdemeanor. I don't know, but I don't. I, you can't say they technically murdered her, but they, they probably led to her death. You know. Uh, prime candidates. Thank you. Probably be back later. Manslaughter. Yeah, maybe. Let's ask about this. Do you know what a prime candidate is? At Atlas. Yes, it's um, what every student wants to be. It's the best student. Apparently you get a great high-paid job afterwards. I don't think that really happens, though. Did you know anyone in the running to be prime candidate? What, like Simon? <laughs> I don't think they picked Simon, to be honest. Well, he's got too many morals, and you can't have both at Atlas. Morals? But he did stuff. Huh. Okay. Um... I'm sorry, Poker Girl. I have no idea what you missed. It it might have been the whole uh, opium drug thing that we got out of Simon. That he's allergic, so he, that means he didn't take morphine, but he was helping to test Kate to be a prime candidate for Atlas. So, yeah, that's why I was thinking negligible homicide, huh? Maybe. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. I don't know, because this is the the UK, so I don't know what their laws would be regarding... Um, regarding how they view responsibility for death, you know? Go to Rebecca. Ask her about the whole prime candidate thing. A few more questions, please. Do you know what a prime candidate is? At Atlas. Um, it's the best student. And um, what does that mean? It means they get a guaranteed job with a very good salary. Well, that's the idea anyway. But? Mostly they aren't up to it. What happens then? They get sacked. Okay. Most students aren't up to the job. Okay. Nothing else. Uh... Thank you. Probably be back later. Baby. Things we haven't asked Ryan and Paul. So just Ryan and Paul. Alright. Sacked meaning fired sign. You would lose the job. 
Uh, old man, let's talk again. I ask you a couple more things, please. What are prime candidates? The best of the bunch. The peaches. And so what does it mean to be a prime candidate? Success. We have a special relationship with many major international companies. We provide them with our best students. And they get an instant job. And what do you get out of it? Well, it's a little kickback. It's just business, Inspector. Hmm. Kickback payment. Okay. Ah, uh, that's all for the moment. Thank so you. we haven't talked to Ryan for a while. Uh, I've been waiting for this. Oh, Ryan! I always have so much to talk to you about. <laughs> you thought they would get killed or stuffed in a sack. Hacking a sack because you're fired. Ah, that's funny. Sometimes you feel so ashamed of your body you didn't want to go swimming at a pool party. Aw, smooth. No. You worked so hard to lose weight. You are in good shape. You need to be more confident. Nobody's going to be staring at you. Everybody's going to be there feeling self-conscious. Uh... Ryan. A few more questions, if you don't mind. We have a lot to talk about, bruh. Uh, let's see. The check. Would you like to explain what this is, please, Ryan? 500 pounds intended for Kate. It fell out of your car. At least I assume that's your car on the driveway at Brandon House. I suppose so. So why were you going to give Kate 500 pounds, Ryan? It was just a little incentive, that's all. Just a little incentive. Not very little, Ryan. 500 pounds? Mm -hmm. She was a, a very good student. We, we heard that she was leaving. We wanted to give her something. But you didn't. Well, obviously not. Are you sure there wasn't any other reason you might want to give her this? Personal reason? Mm. No! Well, I'd like to keep hold of this for a little while, if you don't mind. Well, don't consider it a bribe, will you, Inspector? I was thinking earlier, I hope they don't go this route. I was wondering if... If he had slept with Kate, let's say, and that she got pregnant, is that what she was fighting with her friend about? And then the, the money was to, like, bribe her to go away or to have an abortion or something? But I hope they don't do that, because that feels a little cliche and it's a little... Mm. But then again, they said that, uh... I think Emma said that her and Kate were arguing because Emma was the one having the uh, affair with Ryan. And Kate found out and was going to blackmail him or something. So is the 500 pounds for the blackmail? That's kind of the other thing I was wondering. So so I hope it's probably that case rather than the whole pregnancy thing. Let's avoid that, please. Uh, sugar daddy calling it now. The one guy that gets in the pool with his shirt on. Aw, smooth. Okay, box of poppy pods. Know anything about poppy pods? Come across anyone selling them or anything? Poppy pods? <laughs> well, don't tell anyone, Inspector, but I hear that you can make opium out of those. Why do you ask? Doesn't matter. Hmm, okay. This. Now, tell me what a prime candidate is. You're learning a lot, aren't you, Inspector? <laughs> Prime candidates are simply the best students. The ones with the most potential. And what benefits do they get from that? Well, they get the top job. Which is? Well, we have a deal with various multinationals. We train students to be exceptional, truly exceptional. And they get a wonderful top job. It seems a very simple deal. And how do you decide who the prime candidate is? Do you test students? No. Did you ever, say, ask Simon to test Kate, for instance? Oh, you've actually been speaking to Simon, haven't you? I really wouldn't trust anything that Simon Thompson says. You know, he spent the best part of two months trying to undermine Kate. No, 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 no. 
<laughs> now, Simon Thompson, uh, it really isn't my place to speculate, but uh, if you're looking for motives, Inspector, uh, he certainly had a few motives, I, uh, more than I. A motive to kill her, do you mean? Now, that's very interesting, Inspector. Well, that's up to you to decide her. Hmm. Interesting. So, uh, it looks like at least Simon and Justin, you don't swim. Um, whenever I hear people who say that, all I can tell you guys is that you're missing out because swimming is fun and it's really, really good exercise. And it's a very useful skill to have. You never know. You could be on vacation, you could be on a plane and it could crash. Uh, there's so many different things that could go wrong that you might have to swim. Like, let's say there's an extreme flood in this building that you're in or something. I don't know. But anyway, swimming is very, very useful skill um, that you should at least learn basic. If you don't like to swim for fun, then at least just learn it for safety reasons. You can swim to save your life and that's about it. Well, that's all you need. If you don't enjoy it or don't want to do it for exercise or fun, then just, just get the basics. Learn to doggy paddle. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe the difference in monetary value for you, sign, compared to like our money system. That's pretty shocking. I'm such a mom. Wait, why did you put the sensor there? <laughs> but yeah, I plan, uh, my mom took me to start swimming when I was a baby. Like there's actual like baby swim class. And uh, you just learn the basics to float and, and, and they pretty much hold you up. But yeah, she had me in swimming class for years at the YMCA. So uh, yeah, I was really into it for a long time. Um, I think the only reason I really stopped, first of all, I got so busy with school and, and I, I kind of wish I'd kept it up in high school, but uh, <laughs> the main reason I stopped was due to woman stuff. I just, uh, yeah, I was kind of like, hmm not so confident and uh, didn't want to deal with certain things I was like eh, I don't know <laughs> but now I really miss it and I would like to do it in order to lose weight um, and because it's fun I'm an Aquarius so a lot of Aquarius we are like naturally drawn to the water for some reason so yeah I'm just really into it like if I could live swimming all the time I would <laughs> teach, teach you how to swim we could swim together I would have fun we would have fun trust me we would have fun I would splash you <laughs> uh, you can doggy paddle that's good floating well floating is okay it's all about how much um, air you have in your body at the time teach you how to doggy <laughs> you swim in your bathtub every day oh my god smooth Mermaid Senpai fanfic. <laughs> that would be nice. I I might actually like to do that one year for Halloween, dress up as a mermaid. Only thing I wouldn't like is that traditionally mermaids are seen as like just wearing ooh, like a little bra, like a shell bra or something. And I'd be like, it's it's freaking cold. It's October. I'm not walking around with a bra. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if I could have a, a little more coverage while still dressing up as a mermaid, I totally would. Because they are so pretty. Mermaids are so pretty. I always like them. I think fairies are pretty too, but I like mermaids for some reason. Um, now I'm in the mood for some mermaid fanfiction. I'm born in October, so I don't know my sign. Uh, I think you could be Cancer or Scorpio. One of those. I, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, no. Cancer's July, isn't it? Oh, uh, Libra. I think you you could be a Libra. I don't know. You should just look it up, Justin. Starts playing under the sea. Kelp sweater. <laughs> yeah, not Cancer. Yeah, Cancer is like in the summer, isn't it? Um, but I think Libra is October because my grandmother was a Libra and she's October, from what I remember. Uh, so I wonder, well anyway, you should look it up. You were really into fairy stuff as a kid. I actually played Tinkerbell in a play when I was a little girl. And uh, 
I only had a few lines and right before my lines came up I had to use the bathroom and the play had to keep going so I missed that part and I was like I came back from the bathroom I was like oh there goes my lines that's so embarrassing <laughs> but yeah you know when you're a little kid you gotta go when you gotta go uh, get a very good job students aren't tested wait 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 Students are tested, aren't they? Where where is it? Where is it? Um Aptitude test. Wait. Uh disturbing techniques. But aptitude test, how do I How do I Where is it? Where is the actual Emma's guild? No 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 no. Where is the other testing? Chorus or Brandon, anyway. Wait. Shoot. I. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I feel like I'm on the right track. Get a very good job. Uh. Best students become prime candidates, and then, uh, coerced or bribed? No? Where, where am I going with this? Hold on. There's so many things. Third eye. Nerves into third eye. ECT. Doll burning. No. Uh, Atlas Freedom? Atlas Advertising. Where am I? <sighs> Keep trying. Atlas. I know something. Something here. I just can't. Which one is it? Atlas Mirror. Stolen Laptop. Atlas. Where are we going with this? Where are we going with this? You're a Taurus? Uh... Where are we going with this? No ulterior reason for giving Kate the money. Little incentive for Kate. Heard she wants to leave Atlas. What about this? Uh, little incentive for Kate. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. I just saw it. I just saw it. Where is it? Shoot. Shoot. Um, ah, coerced or bribed. How about that? Uh -huh. Objection. <laughs> so... Students aren't coerced or bribed in any way, except Kate. I'm not sure what you mean. Come on. You dude. said you were going to give Kate the 500 pounds as an incentive. That's coercion, isn't it? I really don't think you could call it coercion, Inspector. Hmm. It was an incentive. That's all, a little encouragement. So how often do you use incentives? Okay, incentive is probably the wrong word. The money was just to see how Kate would respond. It was part of her assessment. Assessment? We have to assess students as they progress. We, d we don't use conventional methods like sitting an exam or anything like that. Uh, people pay for this course per session. We have to know if they're committed or not. So you're assessing their progress and testing their commitment. But I just yes, saw. Yes, we are. We have to. This is a business, not a charity. Objection already! So Ryan's claiming the money was part of Kate's assessment. And did this assessment also involve threshold testing, I wonder? Or was the money for something else? Yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, so students aren't tested, but... Wait, 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 wait. 
But he just said something about an assessment. Aptitude test. No? I want to let me. Uh... Gave Kate the money to test assess her. There it is. Wait. Ah, uh, it won't let me. Hold on, I'll be back. Be back later on if that's okay. The game uh, won't let me click on it. Uh, I'm gonna get you, sir. A few more questions. Objection if you don't mind. time. There. It says they aren't tested, but uh, ha. Objection! Uh, uh. Well, which one is it, Ryan? Do you test students or not? Well, some of them, yes. Including Kate? Yes! Why was she being tested? She was being tested because... Because we wanted to see if she was good enough to become prime candidate, okay? So Kate <gasps> was alcohol. in the running to be prime candidate. Yes! And did you <laughs> ask Simon to test her? Yes, I did. But I didn't ask him to do anything stupid. He knew it was against course rules. How far Ooh. did you ask him to push her? I didn't ask him to push her. I asked him to test her. There's a huge difference! Oh my god. If Simon decided to give her too much caffeine or morphine or whatever, that's his responsibility. So if he did anything wrong, it was his own responsibility. He did it with his own mind and his own hand. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We had nothing to do with it. Oh, God. Ooh. Oh, we're at 12. Oh, snap. Midnight, and still no suspect. Unless you count everyone I've interviewed, <gasps> it's no surprise that Ryan wants to avoid any suggestion of being responsible for Kate's death. But I wonder if the man protests just a little too much. He got so heated, you guys. That was so heated. All right, here we are. We're at the final countdown. Ooh, the music is getting so... Ooh. All right. Um, I, I thought we were done. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay. What else do we do now? What, what, hold on, let's see. Wonder what Paul thinks about prime candidates. There are also things you haven't asked Simon, Emma, Rebecca, and Paul about yet. Okay, okay, we're almost done with this. Oh, let's go to Rebecca since we're here. Hey, Slayer, Alele, how are you? Uh, Rebecca. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Let's uh, ask about this. Did you know Kate Vine was a prime candidate? No. Boy, be triggered as all hell. That was some good acting. Uh, he was already acting pretty well with the whole smarmy attitude that he had. But uh, right there, he actually kind of scared me a little bit. Like, holy oh, crap. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. Thank well, you. Alright, Rebecca. We'll be back later, I guess. Gosh, I'm really hungry. Mother, please come home soon. I'm hungry. <laughs> Let's talk to Paul. A few more questions, please. Hope Thank you're you. doing well today, Slayer. Uh, I guess just that. Was Kate a prime candidate? Well, as Ryan has probably already told you, yes, she was. Did you ask Simon to test her? Yes, it's company policy. Leaders don't get involved. Mm, and it covers your back, of course. Well, nobody knows the students better than they do, Inspector. It's much better to let them just work it out among themselves. It isn't very professional to force students to test each other to the point where one of them gets killed, Paul. We don't mm. force students to do anything that they don't want to do, Inspector. So you don't force them into being tested? No. We don't encourage anybody to hurt or offend anybody else here. Uh -uh. We don't use threshold testing, for instance. Mm -hmm. No. If Simon Thompson went too far with Kate, that's his responsibility, not ours. He's the one you should be speaking to, if truth be told. I don't trust him myself. They want, they are just trying to use... They are trying to use Simon as their scapegoat. Oh my gosh. But, uh... Man, I don't know how many of you guys were here and saw that earlier. The whole uh, pain threshold testing that they were doing earlier with this guy driving a nail into his hand. Like, oh my god, that was crazy. 
students not encouraged to hurt each other, but they were hurting each other in front of us. We saw that. Oh no, don't talk about food, please. <laughs> I'm so hungry right now. Uh, hmm. Don't use threshold testing. But, but they were threshold testing, weren't they? Where, where was it? Where was it? Uh, cause wasn't the uh, the the CD the the mirror room was about threshold testing? Isn't that an objection right there? Objection. Yes. Uh -huh. Nice. You say you don't endorse. Threshold testing, that's the phrase, isn't it? Yes. Except you do, Paul, because you told me that the students use that CD in the mirror room. I've listened to that CD, and it very clearly mentions threshold testing. Mm -hmm. You keep batting this away, Paul. We don't really use hypnosis. The students aren't really tested, but I am this close to launching a full-scale investigation. Do it. Look, we get a kickback from these students, and they have to be exceptional. Of course we have to test them. That doesn't mean we do anything illegal. What do you think we do? Bump off the ones we don't like? Well, that depends on how far you push them, doesn't it? Well, we certainly don't kill them. Nobody here wanted Kate dead. I'm sure they didn't. But what do you expect, Paul, when you put students under that much pressure? She was a very, very valuable student. She was worth a lot to the business. Really? And how much would that be? Well, if you really want to know, 50 grand. What? Ooh. She was worth 50 grand? Yes. What, you were selling her? Of course we were selling her. You don't get this, do you? We no. make perfect employees. Month after month. That's all we do. What do you mean, perfect employees? What big business needs, Inspector, more than anything else, is none of this altruistic, goody-goody crap. What we look for is people with ambition. No ethics. Push. Greed is good. All right? Ooh. We don't deal with all this comfort stuff. The survival of the fittest. Ooh. That's all there is. No. There's no higher purpose, no big plan. There's nothing at the end of the rainbow. Except what you have and you can enjoy in the here and now. And what do you enjoy now, Paul? You're going to have to excuse me. Inspector, I'm a very busy man. I've got work to do. Hmm. He clammed up. I know, we were so close. I'll see myself out. I think that's the last time we'll talk to him. That feels very final. Lovely man, your father. Shut the gate on your way out. Yep. That feels very final. Ooh, ooh! He's doing his level best to shut this place down. Get rid of him. Huh? He's a policeman. We can't just. You saw this. Ooh. You man up and sort it tonight. Ooh, these actors are so good. <laughs> this game is so good. Ooh, break something. No? Kyle. Kyle. Did Kyle do it? That sounds like Kyle did it. Interesting. He's not even one of our main suspects, but, uh, huh. Ooh. That doesn't sound good. Two totally morally bankrupt men are plotting to get rid of me. It's midnight. I don't have any backup, and I don't even have a mobile phone. This is potentially... Quite bad. And what's Kyle got to do with it? I think I might make my way over to Atlas while Ryan isn't there. Maybe lock myself in. Oh my god, you can't even call for backup? What the hell? This is dangerous. Oh my lord. They already attacked him earlier with that, uh, they tried to kidnap him or whatever. And, uh, I was trying to avoid chat for a while because y'all were talking about food and I'm hungry. <laughs> ah, oh, Slayer. Man, this game has been... It's been nuts, bro. I think you would like it. It's a really good game. 
this this is grounds for shutting down a school. I agree. Uh, he enjoys being shady. He wants pizza. No, don't talk about food. <laughs> He's mad. Absolutely mad. Yep, they are mad. All right. Run, Jenks. Call the chief. Hope they make a, a new game of this. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. I would like a sequel with Jenks again. Uh, time for a final trip to the woods. You also have things you haven't asked Simon and Emma about yet. Okay, let's go talk to Simon and Emma, and then we'll go to the woods. Why y'all torturing me? No! Ask you a couple more I'm things, not gonna please. look at chat no more. <laughs> uh, okay, just Kate. Okay. Do you know whether Kate was in the running to be prime candidate or not? I don't, but I do think she would have been chosen. Just because she was, you know, Kate. You didn't discuss it with Kate? No. No, she never talked about this. Okay. Simon. Thank you. Probably be back later. Well, he already kind of confirmed that she was prime candidate. How do you think you'd have reacted if you'd found out that Kate had been chosen to be prime candidate? Is that... was she? I'm just asking how you think you'd react. I don't know. I wouldn't react in any way, really. I'm, I'm not bothered. I don't think she was, though. What makes you think that? Well, it's just an impression I got. You know, she's a bit flaky, to be honest. It's just not really prime candidate material. Okay. So are we done with these people? Thank you. Probably Let's go to the woods. Now, there's a few um materials that we have in our evidence that we haven't really used yet. Enough, I guess. Uh, anything here? No. Uh, anything? Jetty? Uh, no romchata. No tipsy stream. <laughs> Not right now. Maybe one day. Uh, anything else? The clearing again? Oh, what? What's going on? <gasps> what the heck? What the heck? Ryan, what the? Prove to me that you're man enough to do this, girl, <gasps> and then you can deal with that ridiculous police inspector. What the hell? Is that a knife? What is this? What the hell? Scotland Yard, not hell. Hello, Ryan. Hello, Inspector. What are you doing here? What the hell? Inspecting. So, uh, come on, let's have it. I don't think you'd understand, Inspector. The best thing that you can do is turn around, go away, and leave us to it. What? Knife. What? That knife gives me a perfect right to stick my nose in, investigate, and interfere. <laughs> this is all part of the Atlas course. It's a what physical endurance no! exercise. Drop the knife. The knife, Kyle! Kyle. Drop it! What the hell? Who's the girl? Not looking 100% brilliant for you, Ryan. Well, please, Inspector, you've poked your nose into Atlas's affairs enough times to know that imaginative flair is part of the course of success. Jesus. Our lessons are reinforced by a unique emotional experience. Terror? It's an extremely evocative tool. Well, it's a good job you're not in charge of the national curriculum. <laughs> now, look, Inspector, I know what you're trying to do. I know what you're thinking. But believe me, Atlas had nothing to do with the deaths of those people. Eyewitness account of a satanic sacrifice in the woods. That's not what we call circumstantial evidence, Ryan. Simon. Now, I saw Simon walking home with Kate last Friday after the meeting. Now, Simon had some strange idea that he was in the running to become prime candidate. <laughs> Well, a knob of butter has more chance of becoming Prime Minister. Oh, wait. So are you telling me that... Simon killed her? Well, it seems reasonable. It's likely, isn't it? No. Any more likely than you, Ryan? Seems too obvious now. Poor girl. Kyle freaking nuts. Look at that. Mm-mm. 
Nice. I know. Police brutality. Ah! Jinx. Nice. I wish you'd punched him instead of slapped him. Oh my god. Okay. That girl. She didn't even take off her mask. Okay. Who was that? Jesus. Hello, Meredith. Things are getting hot. I'm about to finish this game, man. Oh my lord. That was crazy. That was the best. Oh my god. This game is so good. I want more. Oh, man. Uh, we said we're gonna go to Atlas while Ryan's not there. Uh, okay. Meredith, how are you? I suppose it was too much to hope that Ryan had left the place open. Oh, no. Okay, now where do we go? Can we call? Can we call the chief? Call for backup? Because this is crazy. Manual save? Why are you keep telling me to save manually? Is something gonna happen that I should save? Uh... I can save game. Yes? Oh uh, look! I'm at 96% you guys! Woo! We're almost done! Team no save. <laughs> you just got home from work, Meredith? Okay. I hope you had a good day. Hope everything is alright. I don't know if Nin is going to stream today. I, I want to play some DVD because of the whole uh, double blood points. Yes, I'm officially a fangirl of this game. I'm officially a fangirl of Jenks, man. Just saying since we are so close to the game. Beat this game. Yeah, I'm determined to beat this game and hopefully eat dinner soon if mom would just come home. <laughs> I'm so hungry. <laughs> First day on the phones. Oh, okay. I'm glad it wasn't too bad. Now, where do we go then? wonder what Simon makes of Ryan's accusation. There are also things you haven't asked Simon, Emma, and James about yet? Really? We have to go to see James again? Uh, let's go teleport over to Simon and Emma then. They'd be on the ground crying in pain. Yeah. That, um... That guy is... Ooh! Oh, no. Who is calling? Hold on. Am I ordering for both of us or just myself? Oh, okay. Alright. Okay. Nice. Well, no wonder my mom wasn't calling. Her phone did die, and uh, she's still waiting for her car's tires to finish be getting fixed um, which is what she's been doing all this time so uh, I'm gonna have to order dinner myself which is fine uh, so that means as soon as I'm done here I'll order <laughs> get some pizza uh, yes Meredith is a call center agent so ha Slayer you can talk about pizza all you want I'm gonna get some too you're better now you have food well everybody should have food <laughs> All right, let's finish this game. I'm so excited. Uh, let's see. We do have to talk. Let's talk to Emma first before we talk to Simon. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Did Simon mention walking home with anyone after the meeting last Friday? No, he just came home. Why? He didn't mention walking home with Kate. No, definitely not. Okay. Is that it? We done with her? Yep. All right, That's Simon. That's for the moment. Thank you. Simon, they're trying to make you a scapegoat, buddy. What would you say if I said it's been suggested that you were seen walking home with Kate after Atlas last Friday? What? By who? The same person who suggested that you wanted Kate out of the picture because you found out she was in the running to be prime candidate. Who said that? Just a question. 
I didn't think I was in the running. It was Ryan, wasn't it? I am in no position to say. It was Ryan! Mm. Simon, <laughs> calm down. No, I can prove it. Oh? Uh, Kate's driving license, give it to me. Why? Kate's driving license, please. Ah, finally. I was wondering. <laughs> See that pattern on the tape there? Let me show you something. What is that? See this pattern? Oh, look at that. It's the same pattern. This has come from the same roll of tape as this. So? So there's only one person that's taped like that. Ryan. He what? gave me this piece of tape when I was in his office once. Why has Kate's driving license got a piece of Ryan's tape on it? I have no idea, Simon. Where did you find it? Oh, by the lake. But it's obvious, isn't it? Ryan was testing her. He was doing a boundary test to see how much she would do, how far she would go to be a prime candidate. But it all went wrong. <laughs> okay. It's one of the things we do at the course, right? You give something that's important to you to someone else, then they go and hide it somewhere. It's to teach you to not be bothered when you lose something that's important to you, all right? Kate gives her driving license to Ryan. Ryan goes and hides it somewhere down the lake. Kate finds out, she goes down looking for it, probably drunk, and she falls in. Mm -mm. This sounds too fishy. <sighs> I'm afraid I find that a bit far-fetched, Simon. Yeah. <laughs> it makes perfect sense if you know anything at all about how Atlas works. But Simon, if you got the tape from Ryan, Kate could have got it from him. He told me he doesn't lend it out. He lent it to you. But I didn't kill her! Do a lab test on the card! His DNA will be all over it. And what if yours is all over it? <laughs> it won't be! I didn't kill her! I'm sorry, just just, just give me a minute. I need, I need some painkillers. Wait, what? Painkillers? What is going on? Jenks. Go watch. Yeah, go watch him. What's what's he up to? Did he just leave? Did he just ditched us? He straight up ran. Where did he go in such a hurry? Is he trying to act as suspiciously as possible? What? I can't believe he just ran. Uh, pattern sticky tape. Only Ryan has tape like this. Uh, uh, Emma, James, and Rebecca about yet. Wait, wait, wait. It transported us here, but am I supposed? I have to go talk to other people first. I'll be back. I wonder why they made me go over there when I have other things to do. Hold on. I think we still need more evidence before we go chasing after him. Ask about a few more things, please. Uh, Ryan's accusation. Do you know how well Simon knew Kate? Not really. Did you ever see them together? So why do you think he killed her? I've no idea. Do you think he'd be capable of that? Do you think we're all capable of it? No, I don't. Sure. So you've never been in your police car responding to an incident? driven past school at high speed don't know maybe well you've answered your own question then when you've got a need and things get in your way it's human nature to either ignore them or get rid of them any way you can hmm. that's all murder is isn't it maybe you're right hmm everyone is capable of murder that's an interesting thing to say James Yes, he ran, Poker Girl. He was like, oh, I need some painkillers, and then whoosh, he was gone. Ever seen tape like this anywhere before? Nah. Okay. Be back later on if that's okay. okay. So I just need to talk to Rebecca and Emma, and then I can go chasing after him, since, since the game is telling me to ask Rebecca and Emma stuff. Uh, 
Let's do this quick. Come on. Let's see if she has any more information. Oh my god. Kiba. Come on, man. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Have you seen patterned tape like this anywhere before? Oh, Ryan's got some. I know, because I borrowed it. When was that? A couple of months ago. Have you still got it? I don't think so. I haven't seen it since then. Saw the tape approximately two months ago? Okay. I wonder... This tape seems like it's going to be important. Okay. Thank you. Probably be back later. Uh, talk to Emma, and then we'll go chase after Simon. Emma, your boyfriend ran out on me. <laughs> A few more questions, please. Uh, okay, just that. Have you seen this anywhere before? Uh, I've seen it somewhere, but can't remember. Sorry, no. Game, why uh, are you making me waste my time? <laughs> Okay, now we can go chase. Simon, where you at? Where you at? Okay, it had me... Half to the right? No. Where are you, Simon? Where's Simon? Instead of where's Waldo, it's where's Simon? Nope. I can't believe he just ran like that. Like, really? Clearing. Nope. I can't believe the crazy stuff we saw earlier. He went to Atlas? That's not the only other place. Nope. Oh, we can't go. Wait, why did we... So then... Where else is there to go? First where was Ryan and now it's like, where's Simon? <laughs> No, we were here. Where is he? Here? I don't know where he's at. He just disappeared. How is that possible? Should you call the chief for an update? <sighs> okay. Well, he just disappeared. Um, We'll call the chief... And we should also call for backup. This is getting ridiculous, man. We were threatened. <laughs> oh, this is long. Oh, just as it gets to the good bit, great. Go on, Jenks. So, where to start? Paul admitted that they do use threshold testing. Apparently they get a wedge of cash from various companies in exchange for each prime candidate they produce. Interesting. Also, I met Ryan and some of his friends in the woods in the middle of some sort of occult ceremony. I have no idea what they were doing, but it did not look good. But Ryan insisted that Simon walked Kate home after the meeting last Friday. He's claiming Simon killed her. And what does Simon say? He doesn't agree, not surprisingly. He says it was Ryan, because of something to do with a piece of tape stuck to Kate's driving license, which Simon claims belonged to Ryan. Claims it was Ryan who was testing Kate by sticking the driving license to a tree in the woods in the dark and telling Kate to get it, knowing she'd fall in. And no, before you ask, it doesn't make any sense to me either. Right, so basically Simon says Ryan was testing her and Ryan says Simon was testing her. Well, either one of them is lying or neither of them are. And nobody was testing anybody. I suppose that's always a possibility. Wouldn't surprise me, Jenks. Well, I don't know. I, I can't help you. But you're as close as you're going to get. <sighs> Just check everything that everyone said. Go through everyone's statements. The answer's in there somewhere. Call me back when there's some good news, eh? Preferably a confession. Well, if I can get one. Yeah. Thanks, Chief. Good night. You didn't even tell him you were in danger. <laughs> now, hold on. It's telling me must be a contradiction somewhere it's telling me to go over everyone's statements that means this is it you guys this has to be it ah oh, there's so much information emma's replies james replies rebecca's recognizes the tape but not sure 
doesn't recognize the tape. Last saw the tape approximately two months ago. It has to do with this. It's usually having to do with the latest. What else would have to do with tape? Rebecca, tape, tape, tape. Rebecca, tape. Wait. Broken, didn't she say something about her an argument, window broken. Taped over the broken window. I remember tape, yes. Here we go. If she used tape, does that mean it's the same tape? Let me go back to the pub. Can we look at this and see the tape itself? Uh, I know, he should have told the chief about the threats. Like, yeah. And uh, Meredith is right, that chief is, uh, he's not, I mean, he helps us, but he's kind of a jerk about it sometimes. He's like, oh, you again, jinx. Where's the broken window? Oh, there it is. I thought we could investigate it. Well, that kind of sucks. Can we investigate from the inside? No, we can't. I wanted to look at the, the broken window. I'll, I'm gonna ask her, I'm gonna check if it's the tape, uh... But that seems like a weird thing to be the last contradiction. If this is the case, if this is the last contradiction of the game, does that mean Rebecca did it? I mean, she would have... Wait, what would her reason be? I don't know. I don't see a motive here. I'll ask you a couple more things, please. Okay. Um, let's try... It has to be the tape. Last saw the tape two months ago, but then she just used it Hopefully, maybe she used it. Maybe she used a different tape. It seems like a weird tape to use, though. You would think she would use like an actual duct tape or something. Guilty until proven innocent. Uh, taped over. Ah! ah! Objection! Okay. You last saw that sticky tape two months ago. That's Is that not correct? good tape, though. <laughs> yes. So how come you used it last week to tape over the broken window outside? That's the same tape. It is. Well, I must have been mistaken. You see, the reason I'm asking is that it's exactly the same tape that was found attached to Kate's driving license, found at the scene. The tape that only Ryan has. Ryan, and of course, you. So what are you saying? Who's got the tape now? Do you know where it is? No. No, I don't know where it is. Why are you asking me about this tape? You seem nervous, Rebecca. Is there a problem? Uh-oh. Well, you're practically accusing me of having something to do with that woman's murder, aren't you? I wasn't accusing you of anything, Rebecca. Unless there's something you'd like to tell me. No, I wouldn't like to tell you anything. Okay, well, that's fine. Obviously, uh, we'll be swabbing everyone in the area for DNA, so if anything comes up on Kate's license, DNA traces. What'll come up? Nothing will come up. Right, I've had enough. I've got to get back. Rebecca! Would you like to explain to me exactly what is going on? Uh-oh. Which bit? The fact that some leggy bitch was trying to steal my husband? <gasps> I think you had better tell me what you know, Rebecca. Oh, no. Okay. You want to know what I know? Justin was right. Kate Vine seduced my husband and was going to blackmail him. Not only did she sleep with him, that whore did it just for his money. Our money. How did you work that out? I really? Her. I knew it was her arguing with the Emma Bowman. Emma was trying to talk her out of it. And how did she come to be at the lake? She dropped that driving license thing when she came in. She, she was drunk, she dropped her bag. I took it out to the woods and stuck it over the lake. And then I waited for her. When she came out, I... I told her where it was, that someone had just run off into the woods with it. You led her to the lake. She was reaching out over the lake to get it. I didn't do anything, she just fell in. But you let her drown. Mm. It was dark, I, I couldn't see anything, I couldn't help her. Really? Did you try, Rebecca? Well, it was too late. She was just flapping about in the water. It was pathetic, she was making these gurgling sounds. And what did you do? I got a big stick. I just pushed 
pushed her down with it until she stopped. Oh my god, that is murder. Well, she was dead anyway. What did it matter? That's murder. You killed her, Rebecca. Because she slept with my husband. No, she didn't. She didn't, Rebecca. Emma did. What do you mean? You got the wrong girl. Oh my god. Uh, who? Emma. It was Emma. Rebecca Rand, I am arresting you for the murder of Kate Vine. Oh, I'm so you disappointed. Anything, but anything you do say may be taken down and will be used in evidence against you. Ah, I'm really let down by this. Yes. This was such a good so, game. No. It appears that Kate Vine's death was a tragic case of mistaken identity. But there are some loose threads here. Yeah, a what lot. What was Ryan doing with Kyle and that girl in the woods? What if I hadn't interrupted? And what really happened to Liam last year? Uh -huh. It seems I've only scratched the surface of Atlas and the Rand business empire. Trying to find out about Paul Rand's past is like peering into dense fog. He gives nothing away and covers his tracks with military efficiency. However, what is known is that Paul Rand has a lot of connections in high places. Politicians, celebrities, business leaders. Perhaps James Wilson's ideas weren't too wide of the mark after all. I get the feeling there's still a lot more to learn about the Rand business empire. You don't have to excuse us. Atlas is closed for the moment, but we'll be open again very soon. Thank you for your interest. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. I see that they can have a sequel with him investigating Atlas because there's so much there. I'm really disappointed with her death being what it was. Like, it just seems so cliche to have it be, oh, the jealous wife. And then for it to suddenly be solved just because of a freaking piece of tape? And there was so much evidence, so many things going on in the side, it was kind of like... I don't know, that just came out of nowhere, and I feel like it would have been more interesting if she had died because of one of the many other things going on with the drugs or with Atlas, or I don't know. I, I really hope there is another game because I really enjoyed it up until the end. Um, the acting was wonderful. I think a lot of the mystery part was wonderful. It was creepy. Um, I liked it a lot. I'm just really, really disappointed with why she's dead. Uh, yeah, it would be cool if Jenks got a partner. Um, but yeah, this game was good. I just was not happy with the actual resolution. And okay, Slayer, hope you enjoy your game. Dodgers. Do you think they're saving it for making another? Yeah, I hope they do. I really do. Showing all the evidence. Oh, there's more? What was that? Who was that? <laughs> Somebody was uh high fiving. Uh yeah, good job, Justin. I'm I'm just really disappointed. Like why? Rebecca didn't seem suspicious to me for a long time. A, an experimental independent game made on a tiny budget. They did a really great job raise funding for a sequel. I hope they make a sequel and I hope they get the funding because for what it was for an independent game on a tiny budget it was really good. I just that last minute decision or whatever that they had to uh, to make her the killer is really sad. I'm not happy at all. Um, Okay. I guess that's it. I don't think there's anything else. I don't think there's anything extra because it's a small game. All right, so I guess uh, it's weird that it says 96%. Maybe leave Rebecca. Thank you. Probably be back later. What the heck? Well, that's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, I guess. I don't know if the game is glitched. 
Oh, it's glitching. <laughs> it's glitching. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's it for this stream. It's it for this game. Thank you guys so much for watching. I, um, it's been really fun. I really enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go order some pizza now. <laughs> I'm really hungry. You guys have a, a good night, alright? Take care. Bye!